Hi everyone and welcome to Unit 4, Mod 17. We are talking about influences on perception today. So here are your learning objectives and here is your vocab. So let's start with perceptual set. So this is a set of mental tendencies or assumptions that influences how we perceive things. So for example, the Loch Ness Monster that a British newspaper posted and people said that there was a monster in the lake. Well, that thought, that thought of what a monster looks like and then looking at this picture, which I have in the bottom left, people looked at it and saw a monster with like a long neck when actually it was a tree branch. So it took someone looking at it from a different perspective to realize that no, it's a tree branch and they kind of noticed how the water wasn't really moving around it and the tree wasn't, it was just floating and that changed people's perspective. But once people have a perspective about something, it's hard to change that perception. So for example, this image, this other image in this slide has, it's called old woman, young woman. And depending on how you look at it and what you see first, you will see either an old woman or a young woman. And once you find one of them, it is hard to see the other one. So I'm going to try to explain them to you. So the young woman, actually, I'm going to start with the old woman because the old woman tends to be harder to see. So the old woman has some, has like a white thing over her head. She's sideways and she has this right here. This is her um, black hair that's like um, bangs, okay? And this right here is her eye. And this whole thing here is her nose. So she's like to the side and looking down. And that's her nose. This whole thing right here is her nose. And this right here is her mouth. This little slit right here opening. And then this whole thing here is her chin. Okay? So chin, mouth, nose, and there's her eye and her bangs. And she's wearing like a fur coat. Okay, that's the old woman. The young woman is completely turned away and this is her neckline, her jawline, and this is her eyelash right here. And then this little thing here is her nose. And then this would be her ear. And then this is kind of like the side of her hair. And then this is like a necklace. So depending on which one you saw first, it's kind of, it's harder to see the other one. You can pause that and look at it more if you'd like. So another example of perception, but not in a visual way, is with our taste. So you can do this really with any of the senses. So there was an experiment where they added a few drops of vinegar to a brand name beer sample, and the tasters preferred this beer. But when they were told that vinegar was added, those people said it tasted worse. So our information, what we if we expect that it's gonna taste gross, then it's more likely to taste gross. With um, children in McDonald's, they took fries in a plain white bag, and they said they did not taste as good as the fries that came out of a McDonald's frat, um, bag. And they were the same exact fries. So again, the perception that they were McDonald's fries made those fries taste better. This is another uh, visual example. So if you read it first, going down, you see an A, B, C, and then across 12, 13, 14. So it's our expectation of what we think is gonna be next. So this is top-down processing. Remember we talked about this in module 16. We are using our brain, 
our knowledge, our past experience to fill in what that would be. If some, if you heard someone say, let's walk the og, and you like miss that first sound of that last word, you would probably fill in a D sound. Let's go walk the dog. Because, so it's a, that's an auditory one. So you can do this really with any of the senses. So schemas. Schemas are concepts or mental molds. And we put our experiences into these little molds. I like to think of them as like little cubby holes. And we kind of box in what we think of as a cat. Think of like a young child. A cat is furry and it has paw, four paws and a tail right? Well, a dog is furry and has four paws and a tail. So kind of distinguishing between each thing. Well, a dog barks and a cat meows. So that's our interpretation of the world around us. There's another example here with the sports car and things that we think of relating to a sports car. So those are schemas. So another example of a schema could be a stereotype, a uh, that alters our, our perception about someone or something. So it could be a stereotype about women and driving, and that could alter our perception of how well they are doing driving because we have that mental schema. Context effects. So sometimes the context influences our perception. So for example, in this picture, you might think that the dog at the top is bigger. They're the same dog and they're the same size, but just because of what's around the dog in the image, the visual, it makes it look bigger. So that's context. Think of like a really, two really tall people, but one is like six foot three and the other one's seven foot. Well, the six foot three person might look a lot shorter but that's just in comparison to the seven foot person. So we also know that our emotions and our motivations influence our perception. And research has shown this in a number of ways. So for example, if something, if you're doing a walking distance thing and the, uh, some participants have exercised before they get to this walking to a certain destination, the people who have exercise feel the destination is farther than those who haven't. Or if they were carrying something heavy, like a heavy book bag. And I find it interesting that when you walk with a friend, you find things easier. So I think it was walking up the hill. The hill also looks easier when walking with a friend. Yeah. So fun things to know. So those are, those are how we feel influences how easy or difficult a task might be just by how we think. So ultimately our perceptions are top down influenced by what we expect, by the context surrounding what we are hearing or seeing or tasting and our emotions and motivations. All of those things impact our perception. And that does it for mod 17.